Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk about 5 tips to survive the big game release season and especially how... Oops, sorry. Ahoy, ahoy. Yes. Okay. Alright, I'll do it. Okay, let's talk about how to survive the game release season. So, you're sitting down right now and thinking, okay, what, what is this dude talking about? What is even the game release season? Well, in theory, it's just simply that it's a season where lots of games are coming out and it starts already right now. Here's a neat example. I could either play Destiny 2 Forsaken, Battlefield 5 The Open Beta or the new operation of Rainbow Six Siege, which are all shooter games and are probably all games that many people are interested in at the same time even. And I gotta say, I don't know what to do right now. So, how can I do it? How can I manage to play all of the games and talk about them for this channel, for example? And, well, how can I make this even worth my time? Step one, prioritize. You just can't simply play all the things at the same time. And uh, there's a few things, uh, like a hack and all of that I want to teach you. Number one, games that are for free. Like, for example, open meters. So by that logic, of course, I should definitely play Battlefield 5, yeah. Because the open beta is only here for a few days and of course I need to see it right now before it will be released in... Oh! Sorry. Hey, Battlefield 5 has been delayed until November, you know that? The game has been delayed until... Yep. Okay. Yeah, until November is still ticking, so... Okay, yeah. So I was informed the game was actually delayed until November. Oh well. Still, it's a good time to get an impression of Battlefield 5 right now and hopefully it will help to make a decision if you even want to buy the game and want to spend time in it for example. Then of course next up we have updates that are coming to the game that you already paid for and for me that would be Rainbow Six Siege actually. It's not that big, it's like two new operators and a rework of an original map, basically it's a new map even because the old one just got taken out. And for Operation Grim Sky, I'm actually quite excited for because it enhances really what I love about Rainbow Six Siege, but it also takes in what it already does. It's not like a whole new game, it's just that the game that there is even gets more fuller and more exciting, of course, because of the changes of the characters. I really want to see Maverick, for example. Now I see things in a different light. And then, of course, the last game, which is the new game, Destiny 2 Forsaken. We don't know what it is right now, we just want to see it, and it has so many great opportunities happening at the same time. Prince Uriel's back, a character dies, there's a female playing there, and we don't know if it's maybe Eris Morn, or is it maybe the Queen of the Reef, who knows, the teaser trailer is so good so far, I really want to experience it in. But what do we want to do first? Oh no! And at the end of the day, you're just gonna come down and think, okay, why not do everything at once? And I'm gonna show you how. Alright, so here we have the first game, of course, which is Rainbow Six Siege on a 1080p 144Hz monitor because you need those high frame rates, of course. And for that, you want to play this game on this monitor. And then, we want to play, of course, Battlefield 5 on the big 4K monitor here. And that, of course, is just because the game looks so awesome. It just deserves all of the 24-7 inch monitor display. Last but not least, of course, on the third monitor, we have Destiny 2 Forsaken Warning, which is via a game stream for the PlayStation 4. And this is how you want to control it, of course, with mouse and keyboard. First, place your left hand on the A, W and D button, and of course with the thumb on the spacebar. Then, use your right hand to go to the mouse, and of course go through the game. And then, you're almost ready to play, you just need to do one more thing. And finally, you want to have a gamepad on the ground. Now, the gamepad on the ground necessarily is not a PlayStation 4 one, but for the purposes of this video, this is a PlayStation 4 controller. Now what you want to do, actually, is just use your feet to have it here with big socks. Really make sure that the big ones, right? Because you need the X to grip here. Just use the X, and oh my god, here's the camera, and here we go, ready to play on the bottom, and ready to play on top. And if you start sweating, don't worry, this means you're actually doing it correctly, because as 
oh, you're playing three games at once, it has to be exhausting. And of course, the easiest way to do all of this is just to clone yourself and use the power of the plants, the mitosis, to just duplicate yourself. I mean, just really eat a little bit more and boom, there you go, duplicating. All your problems are solved. I just did it myself, if you can see right now. Eh? That's a clone. Like go play games. So yeah, I guess that's it. That has been... Oh my god. Hello, uh, you remember that I was still the bomb? Yeah. You should really take care of that. Uh-huh. Thank you for doing the video. Uh-huh. Go save the world. Okay. Well, I guess I have to swap my way through this here. Okay, easy now. Easy. Could be anywhere here. Where is it? It's mallet. Oh my god. This is not a bomb. It is a caffeine bomb. Oh, I'll take, I'll take a cup. Ah, here we go. Right, so... These have been my five tips. The biggest one, of course, being coffee. It's cold. How, how can it be cold right now? I just, I just... Ah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I hope you like this little, well, off video for more regular content. I was playing around with the idea, and I was thinking, like, hey, I, got, I gotta do something with it. And yeah, so... That was what I had in mind. I hope you liked it. I hope it was a little fun to you and to everyone out there playing the games that I mentioned or other games that are coming out right now. Now, just have lots of fun with them and enjoy them and have a good time. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.